And as you can see, because it's an agent, it's going back, looking at everything, making sure that there are no errors and then validating them. Hello everyone, so GitHub Copilot just introduced something that might kill off Cursor and Windsurf and all these other AI code editors. They introduced something called GitHub Copilot Agent, which is an agent that helps you become a better programmer overall and helps you build apps way easier. And today I'm going to show you how to get it for free and install it on your computer. And I'm going to showcase some of the new features that this AI agent provides with the new GitHub Copilot update. Yeah, so uh, GitHub Copilot just a introduced the agent mode and they call it the agent awakens and apparently uh, the agent is called Project Padawan and if you don't know what Padawan means, it means like an apprentice or like a beginner, especially in the Star Wars series. Basically what it what it does is it kind of it works just like cursor and how windsurf is where you can chat with it and it will go ahead and start editing the file for you and then do re-edits and then remove things and fix things uh, recursively as it thinks through with them. They've also allowed us to use Gemini 2.0 Flash which is a very fast uh, new AI LLM model that Google introduced and they've added also O3 Mini to the chat window but not for the agent window. It's pretty easy to install. What you need to do is actually just go in and search for VS Code Insiders. Um, it's not available for the full version of VS Code. VS Code Insiders is kind of like a beta version or a beta test version of VS Code where the newest features that are introduced into VS Code are first placed on the Insider edition of the program and then they are placed on the full version. So if you want to try out all the new LLM stuff that is coming out for VS Code, I highly suggest you install this. So yeah, so you would just want to click download and the installer that you're using, you just go through the motions, you download it, and then you're able to open it up. Now, how do you get GitHub Copilot actually on here? You want to go to extensions. You want to search for Copilot. As you can see, I've already installed them. You just want to click install on both the chat and the GitHub uh, Copilot standard, uh, which basically is the completions model. And then the chat is the chat window that you see on the right here. And yeah, once you've installed them, you'll see and you'll be presented with an option to sign in with your GitHub account. And you'll have to do that. Actually, you'll have to have a GitHub account to use Copilot. So yeah, uh, then you have the two actual features, which are the chat and the copilot edits. But yeah, once we've added copilot, we can actually go ahead and open a uh, the agent. So how do you actually get into the agent? So you click on top here for copilot edits. And then instead of edit, you click on agent and then ask copilot to edit your files in agent mode and copilot will automatically use multiple requests to pick up files to edit run terminal commands iterate on errors i highly suggest you use claude 3.5 because it's still by far the best coding llm out there it's just like you know cursor you've tried cursor before i'm gonna go ahead and open a file real quick maybe create a small project and then we can uh, probably test this out so i realized i didn't have a project ready to go so i wanted to create one and i felt like this was a great opportunity to teach you guys how to actually start a project because you know these tools like vs code and cursor and such they don't really help you start a project up they just help you like edit and add things and remove things but you want a beautiful project to start with lovable.dev really really cool project i'll leave a link in the description for it you can basically just give it a one line question on what is the app that you want to use or create and it will create this beautiful app or web page just ask the one question as you can see it gives you the visual design elements okay as you can see it created this aqua metric track your water intake with some awesome you know um edits ability to track you have your week stats monthly stats so you've created the initial app what do you do next is you want to transfer it to a repository grab the link here clone a repository and then paste the url here i'll just create a destination for it so as you can see once you've created created that basis you already have all the files set up you basically have a front end a back end and everything and you can get started working on instantly so again you want to go here you've got your copilot copilot chat opened up how do you open them down here on the bottom right you click this and then you can click on the chat window click on edits you will get a message that says you need to enable it you can just enable it and i said i want to give the ability of the user to set up a goal for their daily intake of water as you can see right now it's 
only 2000. I want to actually, you know, not everybody has to drink 2000 milliliters of water. And we want to add this ability for custom um, numbering. GitHub Copilot is going to search for the code base. And then I see that the daily intake is currently hard coded. So you can go ahead and here and yep, right there. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and make the changes. And as you can see, it created this changes because it's an agent. It's going back, looking at everything, making sure that there are no errors and then validating them. So as you can see, I'm communicating with Copilot just like it's uh, agent and asking it to make some changes and edit them before I accept anything. I can just make sure that they are on the right track and then it's going to go ahead and check the code again for any errors and then it will give you a rundown remember your custom goal is even after closing cool so now it's fixed everything and then if i'm not mistaken this would be a npm so npm install to install all the packages and then we want to try to run it and there we go it just added the update goal here for us so by the way if you don't want to run it locally and you want to have hot reloading which means it updating constantly you can actually just go ahead and open a tab here and then just do an ls and then get add get commit add and then get push and you can change make the changes and push them to the repo and as you can see here lovable will realize that there are changes that are happening in the github repo and then we'll say that there was an external commit so you can actually work with the ais together in order to make changes so i would do personally is i would have lovable vs code working together you know lovable does the front end stuff fixes some of the front end vs code does the code edits for free and yeah we're just working hand in hand and seeing it right here live you don't have to run it so if we update the goal and we click update we add this now i'm interested to know if we added 3500 what would happen as you can see it goes smaller that's the basis of what this does so the next awesome feature that they added is the next edit suggestion so imagine you change a variable name and you want to change it across the entire app it will actually do that automatically and will know where to change it so if you go on the cog right here on settings you search for next edit you enable it you are then able to use this feature but you need to to go to the declaration of this uh, variable and if you change it to one for example as you can see it just recommends that changes it should go and then try and notice where you want to change these things so yeah that was it for this video today that is what vs code new github copilot agent is like it's pretty much exactly like cursor or windsurf it's also free to try out and free to use all the links i've used today are in the description down below including lovable.dev if you want to start up an app and as i mentioned clone the github repo into the copilot and start working from there and using these tools together will supercharge your development ability thank you so much for watching by the way i'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year and only you guys can help me do it so make sure you subscribe